I recently got this infrared from thermometer that I got off of banggood.com, I believe, or was AliExpress? I believe it was banggood.com. And the model of this one is the Ben ETAC GM320. As it says on the package, GM320, and it's a uh, Ben ETAC. Get it in focus there. Um, so, what are the features? Well, it's good from minus 50 to 380 degrees centigrade, so minus 58 to 716 Fahrenheit. The accuracy is plus or minus 1.5 degrees Celsius or 1.5%. A resolution of 0.1, a distance spot ratio of 12 to 1, and an emissivity of 0.95 fixed. I'm, I'm guessing that has something to do with the infrared. It's, uh, you can select from Celsius to Fahrenheit, auto power off, and you can hold the last reading. Um, you can turn the laser on and off for, for measuring, for um, seeing what spot you're actually measuring. There's a backlight, and it comes with uh, two AA batteries as well. So it just came in this very basic package um, with a little manual. This is the unit right here. Um, these are really neat. I've always wanted one, and when they first came out, I remember they were like two, three hundred bucks uh, about ten years ago, at least at the consumer level. Uh, but now, you can still pick them up, but they're still kind of expensive. Uh, but getting them straight from China makes them quite affordable. This one was only fifteen bucks, and I think it's actually less than that. That was fifteen bucks Canadian. Uh, so for in a, if you're in America, it's uh, definitely a lot cheaper. So it makes a beep sound once you take a reading. Um, so on the front, what's, what's there is there's a laser that measures, um, that can tell you, a laser pointer to tell you what spot you're actually reading. And it, I find it fairly accurate. And then the actual infrared sensor is in here. And so I always thought the laser was doing something, but it isn't. It's actually this here, because you can actually turn the laser on and off with the button back here. So back here, there's a button to turn the laser on and off. So you can see the laser's on now. But when I push that button, actually there, there, if I do that, there. Now the laser's off, but I'm still taking a reading. But if I turn the laser on, I can see what spot I'm actually measuring. You can toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit right here with this button. You can, there's a backlight that comes on and off. You can kind of see it. I got the lights on pretty high here, but I can toggle that on and off. You can kind of see it going. Um, and then this here, again, toggles the light on and off, and that's all that there is to it. And it's just got a trigger. The batteries go in right here, right like that. And... That, uh, that's about it. It's, it works really well. Um, I find it fairly accurate. I've, what I really have been using it for is to measure the temperature of some of my uh, cooking appliances and I've used it to measure the temperature of my fridge. And as you, you pan with it, it'll change, which is really neat. So, I think the accuracy of this is really nice. I calibrated it with an oven thermometer and it's plus or minus a couple degrees, which is pretty good. I think I trust this more than I trust the actual oven thermometer, to be honest. Um, yeah, there it shut off automatically. So yeah, really nice for 15 bucks. Uh, I recommend it, I give it a try. I will, uh, I will go t uh, shoot some video of my fridge and my oven and stuff and maybe like a glass of water or different uh, temperature items just to show you um, that it does uh, you know it seems fairly accurate but yeah so for the price you can't beat it with shipping here I'm going to measure the the temperature of the bottom of the wok as I have it on my burner here So already it's heating up. Different parts 
of it read different temperatures. So up along the edge will definitely be cooler, but right at the center will be really hot. Now I don't want to ruin my walk, so I'm going to shut it off here. But as you can see, it's measuring up to six, seven, seven hundred or so. Oh, it's over temperature now. So yeah, I've reached the high limit. And now as it cools off, it's starting to drop back down. Yeah, so that works really well.